Okay, I wanted to show you that in third grade planning Bridges Drive under 2021, the newest year, there's my things of stuff that I just worked on, rough draft versions of stuff. And then I'm starting to just get a little uh, neater and more organized as the years have gone by. Maybe a little bit. Um, and so if you click on September number corner, these are my up-to-date thoughts and resources for you on that. So if you look at September number corner, these are the thoughts after looking through Bridges suggestions for COVID stuff and my own thoughts on their thoughts. Um, these are the things. So September number corner major hitters are in bold and italics. So these two right here, the calendar grid is a major hitter. That is something that you should just start having the kids see right away. So, of course, they will because you'll be turning over those cards every day and um, noticing the multiplication equation that comes out of it. Um, but I want you to keep in mind that they have not had really any experience with multiplication and seeing multiplication um, sentences. So I would definitely go and show them an addition, repeated addition, and then morph that into a multiplication equation um, each day. Whether you want the calendar grid observation sheet is up to you. Um, but just going through a multiplication equation each day. Um, then the other major hitter is going to be the number line up to 1,000. And that is the grid that you have hung up zero, 10, zero to 1,000 by tens and practicing that count from tens to 1,000. And you could do this by just practicing counting by tens. Or you could play the last person standing game where you're in a circle and you count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You're a multiple of 100, so you sit down. Sorry, but still stay in the game by watching us um, and whispering the numbers. Um, and then you go until you have the last person standing. Um, if another activity to do would be making that huge number line with... Uh, the template that I have right here, so you don't even need to find it. It is right here, so I could click there, get that template, and you have the 10 to 1,000, and the idea is to cut these out in rows and glue them all together um, to get your 10 to 1,000, and then they'd highlight the multiples of 100, um, and then they could use that line to figure out these number line riddles. So it's another something to do with some number corner activities. So it's working on place value and counting by tens. Um, so keep those ideas in mind. The other ones are not in bold and italics, which means they are not the big hitters. So the calendar collector where you're collecting data and asking a question of the class um, is up to you whether you wanna use that. They say it could be good for just building classroom community. So up to you you know, but it's not essential. And then the computational fluency is all about that loops and groups game. That's gonna come in later um, in a later unit with multiplication. So for right now, we're already introducing multiplication with the calendar grid. So this is not a necessity. It's something that you could keep out. Um, and then solving problems deals with two and three digit addition and subtraction problems. And we're already gonna be working through um, some of that in unit one in modules three and four. So this is something that's not needed either because we'll also do it later on in the year. So the main ideas are going to be your grid and your number line up to 1000 and then counting by tens and looking at numbers like 160 and saying, oh, that's 106 tens. And if you have a hundred and you have six tens, you're going to have 160. Or if I have 16 tens, That'll also give me 160. So it's looking at numbers in that way, which is what I put right here, okay? All right, so those are notes on number corner. And then I have, um, if you go back to your 2020, 2021, I have unit one, and you would click there and get my unit one thoughts. So here's grade three, unit one. If I click on that Google Doc, this is gonna have everything you want in it. So here, now I've 
condensed down and made for you just a smart board file for the entire unit. And um, so you can not be having to open up all these different smart board files. Uh, so they're like the main ideas of the unit. And I've put them into four focuses for the unit. So like your first focus is addition fact strategies. Your second one, subtraction. Third one, double digit addition strategies, knowing that we're gonna come back to it later in another unit. And they've seen a lot of this actually in the later half of second grade. And then um, double digit story problems, which will again come up later. So in each one, I've categorized it as to what does this mean we do? Well, you're going to use number racks to practice various addition strategies. If you want to see what that means, there's a video here. I made this video. You could show it to your kids too and work through it at the same time. Pause it, work through problems together if you want. Um, and then there's practice pages that pertain exactly to that focus, okay, that I've gone through and just compiled for you in one place. It doesn't mean you should give the kids every single one of these. It is just a place for you to go to get some good practice sheets. Then this extension spot is a part I'm working with Emily on and that'll be filled in with something if you'd like to use that or if, if you have kids who need it. And then there's games that could be from Bridges or not. These are actually from Bridges and they will, they could go to them um, and uh, not have to use a username or password. So that's nice. Um, and then if you want some online places for them to go to practice addition and subtraction facts, they could go to either of these. Just no extra math, they have to have a username and password. <clears throat> so you would have to make um, your class list into extra math for them to be able to use it. So each focus has those things in it. Um, and then all of these ideas can be found on a compilation area that I put on a Google slide deck. So if you click here, you're gonna say, do you wanna copy? Yes, make your own copy. And then I'm gonna go to one I already have up. This is kinder, that's not you. Let's see, grade three, do I have grade threes up? Yes. So here would be something you could share with the kids in Google Classroom, and then they could go under their Chromebooks and just click various things on here for unit one and practice things. So like at the calendar, um, if I go view present mode, I click on the calendar and up would come some place value concepts um, for them to practice place value ideas, which is part of our number corner, um, is place value, right? Counting by those tens and looking at numbers that way, this just gives them something other than counting by tens. So they could go to these two games and it'll link straight to the game for them to go practice that. So they would scroll down and then up would come a game for them. So they'd have the target 10, they're trying to find where 10 would be on this chart. I click and put 10, and I got it. I got that one right. And then they would say 23. Okay, now I have to find 23. Maybe I'm like, I'm gonna step up to the 400s, right? Okay, so you can go through and see what those games are. To get back to the home page, I'm gonna press down here, and I'm back to the home page. Um, then there's other links on here, like they can go to the addition table, click there, and up will come the extra math link, or they could just go here without a username and password and have um, some flashcards to practice that are online using their Chromebook, if you'd want it that way. So addition, and they can have different levels, but if I just go level one, how many tasks can you solve in two minutes? And then I just go forth and try to get it done, right? Okay, what's nice is if I don't get it right, it tells me it right up here, try again. Okay, all right. So that's a place to practice facts. And guess what? I just X, no, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the home page. And then there are just various other places for them to go and do stuff. I even have a Flipgrid activity You'd have to link up your own Flipgrid on there. Um, and then the home page, I have on there the focuses 
for the unit. So there are the four focuses. There are the four videos that I also shared with you in your Google Drive um, planning document. Here are the practice sheets that I shared with you that are also up on this slide deck. Then there's an at-home activity for parents who want to get more involved. And then there are some other games that they could use that deal with that focus. Um, so that's this in a nutshell. I would also say Total Math is an amazing resource to be able to use as a supplement for some daily math, what I need things for kids to use at their own pace. You'd also have to put in their names here to give them each their own code to use. Um, but it gives them not just facts, it goes through concepts um, in math on what they need to work on. Like maybe they need to work on writing their numbers. Um, so that's that. The, for now, that's what I'm going to tell you. Okay.